let's was, let's see what's in the lying depressive papers today and try and put something decent on it although not much we start with the independent what brexit really means we need to face hard facts may admits uk must accept eu core influence commit to common standards loose market access and pay for new systems so in effect no exit Calls for a referendum grows, is this what people voted for? Who's calling for a referendum? None of the people are, they've made their choice. But of course, the lying scum sheets are gonna lie to you because that's what they do best. The Guardian. Row over rise in energy bills for one million households. Hmm. Well, what a shock, eh? We have some a cold snap and, well, we better put the price of energy up, even though it's not the most expensive energy in the world anyway. But hey, we put up with it, so... Hamish Limbo, widow fights for answers. I dread the moment when my daughter asks, where's dad? Telegraph. Joe Quinn Phoenix. I don't want people to see my movies. I <laughs> don't make them then. Uh, Meters halfway on Brexit may urge as you. So we're already giving in. Already giving in. But then again, it, it's been said by many, many, many that there is never going to be a Brexit. And there's not going to be. Because, and I said this a long time ago, if we have to have another referendum so that you idiots can vote the right way, then that's what we'll have. And if you don't vote the right way, we'll just make sure that we fix it so it's the way we want it. Because we live in a dictatorship, not a democracy. If we lived in a democracy, well, the people have spoken. Those that voted said, we want to leave. But now they're going to cause so much shit that you don't want to leave. Well, you want to leave still, but <laughs> even if you get a, a, a second vote, we'll just fix it. Denying surgery to those obese is cruel, say medical chiefs. But yeah, but you might have spent a lot of money getting yourself obese, but of course, you then become a burden and we don't want to look after you. Because that's the way they do it. In it. <clears throat> the Times. D -d -d. We can work it out. May tells Brussels. <laughs> I'm not telling the rest of the British population because then dumb idiots think there's going to be a Brexit. They think they voted and they're going to get what they want. But of course, as this is uh, May talking to the Brussels, rest of the Brussels leaders behind closed doors. Because, of course, we know they ain't going to get it, but we've got to let them think they're going to get it because they might be a little pissed off if they find out that we're actually already in a dictatorship. So we'll pretend they're going to get it, but we'll water it down and piss around with it so much that in the end they'll, be, they'll, they'll just have had enough and they'll let us have what we want, which is to remain in the EU, in that dictatorship. Children taught hatred. Extremism... And homophobia is illegal in is in illegal schools. Experts demand change to home education. Ah, it's let's stop them educating themselves and giving themselves a proper education. We've got to stop them doing that. We've got to get them into the indoctrination centres because otherwise they might start thinking for themselves and seeing for themselves that we live in a dictatorship. The star. Free sausage muffin. Fairy reader. Uh, da, 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 da. Now this is a disgraceful headline. Hash in the attic. Cannabis heaters give cops a vital clue. Cannabis is a natural, God-given product. Or not even a product. A plant. Uh, and it cures AIDS, it cures cancer, it cures arthritis, it, it's a brilliant pain reliever. 
but then it's natural so they can't patent it so they can't charge you an extortionate amount of money to give, you, give it you so we'll make it illegal um, and we'll do anyone that does it because hey we're here for our benefit not yours Express 20p because it's Saturday free cup of soup mm. May now let's get on with it <clears throat> let's pull the wool over their eyes even more plan even, even gets warm welcome from EU chiefs I don't believe there's any one of you watching this believe this bullshit about Brexit. There is no Brexit. It's blatantly obvious. But you've got to start talking to others. I believe there's enough out there. And when I first started talking about this nearly 20 years ago, I was crazy. I, I didn't talk about it as openly as I do now. Uh, well, I would very, very rarely talk about it in pubs. Now, if you listen to other conversations in pubs, they're all saying the same thing. They're, they've finally come to the same conclusion. So, don't be afraid to talk to others. Just don't overload them. And once we all, enough of us know, it's game over and they know it. That's why they're, they're going after the internet now and they're taking channels down off YouTube and blocking people on Facebook and Google, blocking people on Google. Because they know we're so close to the tipping point where the, enough know so that we go, right, you lot, you're all a bunch of criminals, you're in prison. And when you police that's been protecting him, you're a bunch of criminals, you're in prison. When you judges that's been protecting him, you're a bunch of criminals and you're in prison. Oh, all you royals, you're in prison. Oh, all you leaders of the council, executive branch of the council, you're all a bunch of criminals, you're in prison. And all you non-violent offenders that have been in prison are out. All you that have been sent to prison for cannabis are out. Got to make room for the criminals, haven't we? Mummy, has the beast gone yet? And a pair of parasitical scum. How you could be at the people's wedding. It's not the people's wedding, it's a bunch of elite scum. Parasites. Daily Mail. New strategy cuts diagnosis from weeks to just days. The prostate revolution. A one-stop stop service revolutionised prostate cancer treatment has been not as well. Hey, you know what? That earlier we were talking about cannabis. Well, if everyone could get, get their hands on that stuff and get the oil out of it, a la Rick Simpson, he shows you how to make it. We can cure cancer. We can wipe cancer off the face of the planet. But they don't want that because a patient cured is a patient lost and if they can't charge you thousands and thousands of pounds for this non-existent cure well it's a vicious circle and they want to make money out of you ashire's miracle boy abducted from hospital by pet parents is cancer free doesn't say how he became cancer free but yeah they've done the right move abducting him from hospitals because they don't give you anything that's any good for you for cancer in hospitals they just give you what the pharmaceutical companies say to give you which is pure poison daily mirror britain in lockdown now i mentioned this a few days ago about how on wednesday night they didn't send any gritters out at all and this was a common thing throughout the country um, this was organized by the government to call to bring in chaos so they can bring in a new world order out of the chaos and it's been pointed out and everyone starts to say yeah there were no gritters by design because they want to try and show that they're in control and if they want to cause chaos they can Britain in lockdown. Rail chaos, motorist standard, but everyday heroes help out thousands. 
yeah you see that's the the problem even in times of engineered tr struggle we as a species still try to assist anyone else that we can and they can't understand that they don't get why we do that when we're in shit situation ourselves and we still assist others and that's because we're good and they're bad they're evil they're satanists luciferian scum linda nolan day doc told me their cancer was back i've already chosen my funeral songs well get some cannabis oil woman gee michael douglas cured his cancer with cannabis oil olivia newton john cured his ca her cancer breast cancer with cannabis I can't say oil because I don't know if it was oil or well, I suspect it was but she just says cannabis fury over joke justice bulger killer given 260k in legal aid evil venables handed taxpayers cash to bring court cases hmm this was in the paper a couple of days ago so this paper must just be ca catching up and um, well what about that I mean 260k is a fair amount of money I'm sure you'll agree what about the MPs taking three quarters of a million in expenses? But, you know, oh, that's okay, that is. Hmm. But, someone, let's get someone to try and get justice, which you ain't going to get in this country because the justice system is corrupt. I've seen that firsthand, and you just need to look on the internet and you can see numerous tales of how the judges have gone with the uh, corporations or, or the government for instance made to mind paul webster he had, he had them tied up in knots using their own legal statutes and acts and they still rule against you because they're a bunch of crooks you don't get justice in this country and you haven't for a long long time